more for you. Thank you for having us. tune about North Carolina here for the closer. It's a double header of North Carolina themed songs. And uh, this one's about another one about, I told you I was a kid down in Chapel Hill, so this takes us back down to that area of the world where, like I said, I was there the other day and everything, there's nothing the same except some real like shitty businesses. Like there's Al's Garage and uh, He's Not Here, the, like, the frat bar and the Bar City Theater. And what else? Cat's Cradle. Cat's Cradle. Cat's Cradle. That's not really a shithole, but yeah, that's there too. <laughs> Crook's hey, Corner hey, is there hey, as well. Hey, huh? Hey. What is it? Cave. Hey. Oh, the cave. I don't think that was there when I was there. Uh, I think that might have gone up there in the 80s or something like that, the cave. But Bredman's was there on Rosemary Street. Anyway, there's like seven things that are... The Shrunken Head. The Shrunken Head. What in the devil is that? <laughs> Is that like a head shop or something? Like the shrunken head? School Kids, thank you. That was there. School the Kids. Bar. But, yeah, I don't know if the record bar is there anymore. School Kids has moved like three times since, uh, since. Anyway, everything changes. You go back, and then the people have changed worst of all. They're all hideous and deformed, you know? <laughs> you run into the people. I mean, a lot of them are dead, but you run into the people you used to know when you were. Uh, if you live like as long as I've lived, they look really hideous and uh, and deformed. And uh, I know they're looking at me the same way, but I, I'm I'm looking out of my face at them. I think they're hideous. <laughs> I was over at my high school reunion. I couldn't believe how ugly everybody and, and had this memory of all these people, and they were not living up to my memory. <laughs> They were as mean to me at the reunion as they were in high school, but they looked different. And I would see them, and uh, that's all right. I, I deserve a little meanness. And, uh, but they looked different. I had trouble placing a lot of them. By the way, a little break in that story, but I think Jenna Dalmas is here tonight, and she is a uh, <laughs> terrific singer from Norfolk and, and does the country music yeah. the way it's supposed to be done. I know she does the way it's supposed to be done because she does one of my tunes there. And, uh, maybe two. And, uh, she joins a very select and small group of people in that, uh, in that endeavor right there. Jenna and, uh, and uh, I guess well, you haven't uh, recorded one of mine, but uh, Sam Bush and uh, Old 97s. There's a very few, but they're all good people, every one of them. Oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> At the high school, there was one guy that looked exactly the same as before, and uh, Theron, you know, and that I forgot because I was thinking that I didn't have any friends. I did have a friend, he was my friend. We were the, we were the most antisocial, backwards, uh, late bloomers in the whole high school. We'd hang out in like the woods together and talk about the Three Stooges and you know, this and that, like boys do. And uh, anyway, here he came bounding up to me at this high school reunion. He goes, uh, he goes, hey, Robbie, and I said, hey, Theron, because I recognized him, unlike everybody else. I said, hey, Theron. I said, what have you been doing these last uh, 40 years? <laughs> the answer surprised me a little bit, because he actually thought about like what he'd been doing. He thought for several seconds, and he goes, uh, he goes, uh, nothing. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, yeah, no, nothing much. He goes, I, I never... Uh, got a job, and uh, I paint houses when I need a little money. Still live in my parents' basement, where uh, where you hung out with me in the old days. Still smoke a lot of dope, never got married, never had kids, anything like that. Yeah, not much has really, really changed. And I'm telling you, this is the happiest looking motherfucker I ever saw. <laughs> So youthful. 
people, you know? <laughs> Looked like a fucker had Botox, but it was just like him, you know? I was like, I'm so happy. And I don't know. I went home kind of depressed after this incident. Because, uh, I had all these goals when I left, you know, I was like, I gotta get out of North Carolina. It's, it's keeping me back from uh, fulfilling my dreams, you know. I don't know if this guy had any dreams or not, but I had, like, I wanted to do all these things. And then through life, I actually did all the things that I wanted to do, you know, including, you know, make records that have my name on them and travel around and play for nice groups of people. How can it get better? How can it get better? And yet, this guy was a lot happier than I was. I couldn't piece it all together. But there's that decision that you make, whether to stay or to leave. You know, I made the decision to leave, he made the decision to stay. And the guy in this song, which uh, covers a lot of ground and uh, touches on some real places and people back then, it's really partly true. But the character in it, he's on the fence and he can't decide where to go. And he can just never sort of uh, heed the call to action. And this is called uh, Fare Thee Well, Carolina Gals. Those loose wind gals would swing their feet down the airport side of Franklin Street. And I'd watch them in a not quite innocent way. I'm looking at them this evening. Thinking about the plans I put on hold while the town got smaller and the days unrolled. Now there ain't but two stories told, and this one's about leaving. Yeah, here comes Katie Galifianakis now. I remember Katie, then Rosalie. I was present my love when I cried for three. Some shrink from a shameful deed, me, I do it gladly. <laughs> If I hand you a line, girl, you know it's true If I give you a couple minutes, yours to choose One story from a total to two Has got a good chance to end badly So fare thee well, Carolina gals I'm going where you can find me There'll be trouble in the days to come And a lot more fools behind me I was just a lad about gay tall, sniffing that glue in the Northgate Mall. Down the end and say you all, when kindness is a show for strangers. All them be schoolboys and old hippie men, sweating in the sun to no clear end. I made a medium to poor, a boyfriend and a pretty good house painter. So fare thee well, Carolina gals, I'm going where you can find me. There'll be trouble in the days to come, and a lot more fools behind me. Sound good on the moon, you don't need a cane chair and a hound dog. He'd sing the blues, I just smiled. I was such a calm and settled child, thanking the Lord, never dreaming the while he was laying out my downfall. So, with my hair in my eyes and my chest out swelled, I stood on her porch and I bust the bell, peeking round the blind, knowing full well that her folks was gone to Boston. They mean quiet when they say lights out, but that was love making and it made me shout. Daddy would have come home fast, no doubt, if he knew what the weekend had cost him. So fare thee well, Carolina gals, I'm going where you can't find me. There'll be trouble in the days to come, and a lot more fools behind me.
just the wine. Second thought, it's not the wine, it's just me. We men pour out our problems like we think that they're unique. We cheer when a baby starts to speak. They ought to give them a prize for stopping. <laughs> baby, don't you be too surprised if I cash in the farm after mama dies. Get the Cadillac, just drive to the Pacific. Stop looking at me like I've lost a screw Like things had to leave where they led to In the house I'm going to cut through I'd be lucky to get a clunker By what happened in the upper south By God, I gotta make my own way out I, I should have read the signs by now I should have heard the locusts buzzing Poor old Tommy Thompson's dead and gone And I've been feeling not that strong There'll be trouble in the days to come and a lot more fools behind me. Fairly well, Carol.